got the little case with um all, all the, the games in there. Yeah. Um where that one go? I put the come on let that one has it out here to make sure. Oh here it is right here. Street Fighters, it's got the book and everything in there, it's just okay. not the original case. Alright. And then there's there's these. Yeah, that one right there is, is a really good game. Like it sells real like it's like a hundred bucks by itself on like eBay. Oh dang. What's it flip over? Him. I've been wanting to play that. Yeah, I've seen your uh, your advertisement. Yeah, I went to that retro place, yeah. and I asked him what I could actually get for it if I sold it, you know. And he told me I could get it like, uh, like 450 bucks for it all. Yeah. But it's hard to sell it like that. I've realized that in the last couple of days. Well, and... uh you got that that's a super nintendo edition isn't it um i'm pretty sure yeah yeah i just don't play it no more right but i got the, like the well if you cover and if you that. still have it um about middle of next week I'll, I'll hit you up again and grab it from you i have the whole if you still have it <laughs> yeah depends on if anybody buys it from here from now to then right but yeah I didn't find the other cases, but I found most of them. I saw one, this one, the Golden Sun. I didn't see the game in there, though. So is it just the case? No, it should be in there. Or did I just overlook it? It should be in there. Yeah, they are overlooked, it, and I just don't have that one in there. Well, I'll take it. Take it either, either way if it's an empty case. No, it's not in there, it's just an empty case. What about um the game that you had displayed on the on the three DS? Was that just a digital download? Yeah, it's it's on the It's on the system. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. All I, right. See I got this. This is um what I got from my uh, my oldest son, his dad passed away, and this is what he left me. Yeah. And I would, I just never would give it, because you know how kids are with it. They don't <laughs> take right. They don't take care of stuff. But, yeah, you can just have that case. All right. That, that works. All right. We said 200? Yep. All right. And Count that. that make sure it's all there. Yep. All right. All right, so about a week and a half ago, a little over a week ago, you saw me pick up a huge lot uh, where there were two Game Cubes, a Super Nintendo, and one of the Game Cubes had the three Wavebird receivers in it. Well, that pickup came from one of my In Search Of ads that I place online. And when she hit me up with pictures, 
there were some pictures, there were some games in the pictures that were not in that tub of games when I got home and inspected everything. So I reached back out to her. She found the games and she sent them to me. So we got a package here that I just got out of the post office. I've gone ahead and opened it up. Let's dig on in. All right, so we've got two cases here. Looks like she has taped them. Let's try to get some of that tape off. There's one of the disc, and we've got Animal Crossing. Fantastic. A little scratched up, but we'll see if that works. Then we've got Super Smash Brothers Melee. That's fantastic. This is one of the games that I did not see in the tote, but she had it in the pictures. And it's pretty scratched up, too. So... We'll have to see if those work. Animal Crossing was not in any of the pictures that she sent me. The other game that was in those pictures was Mario Party 4. But then we have Need for Speed Carbon as well. And it's pretty scratched up. I bet that one works though. And let's look at Mario Party. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's really scratched up. Well, luckily I have a disc resurfacer, so if these do not boot up, we'll see if uh, the JFJ can't fix them. Alright, I've got Mario Party 4 in the GameCube. Let's see if it boots up. And it did. Let's see if I can get through the title screen. All right, as scratched up as it is, it still works. So I might just give that a light buff and call that a day on that one. All right, next up we've got Need for Speed Carbon. Let's see if it boots up. These are all pretty scratched up. Pretty bad. This could not be red. All right. That's one we're definitely going to have to look at. All right, so here goes Animal Crossing. Let's see if it boots up. And it did. <laughs> so two out of the three and the two that are working are the better titles. Fantastic. Last but not least, we've got Smash Brothers. Let's see if it boots up. Come on. It does. Come on. Could not be red. Damn. All right. Well, we'll take a look at Need for Speed Carbon and Smash Brothers. All right. Since GameCube games are very finicky when it comes to resurfacing them, all I did was a one-minute buff with the polishing compound. I did not sand any layers off the disc. So we've got that buffed for about a minute. Let's fire it up and see if it'll work now. This is Smash Brothers Melee. Come on. Oh, there we go. Memory card and slot A has no uh, create data. No. Well, let me turn my controller on. Continue without saving. Yeah. Holy crap. We got it working. All right. That's fantastic news. That means it can go on eBay get that sold fantastic all right same thing with need for speed carbon buffed it with the jfj for about a minute uh without sanding just the polishing compound and here we go Fantastic. Press any button to continue. Boom. There it is. Heck yeah, all four of them working. That is fantastic news. On to the next.
Wait, the game just cannot be read. All right, we might have to buff it again. All right, last try on Need for Speed Carbon. I ran it for another 30 seconds, just buffing it. Let's see if it'll load up now. Looking good so far. It went here and then cut off last time. All right, that's a good sign. Need for speed carbon. Looks like it's working. Press start. There we go. Fantastic. All right, we got all of them working. On to the next. All right. I know that one right here is, but everything worked. Okay. And like I said, this is the only thing wrong with this. I've got replacement cables. I figured you did. Yeah, I've, I just ordered some. Got a shipment in of them last week. But yeah, everything worked when we put it up. Like I said, we ain't used it in years. And, but it's just been sitting in that closet in these boxes. I hear you. I like seeing the blockbuster tags. Yeah, my wife, <laughs> I put the, um, I don't have a case for The loose games? Okay. So I just stuck Ooh. them. That's... Yeah. Like, they're, I know you probably know how to clean all that up. Yeah. They're just... not bad scratch, but. No, they're not. It's just, you know, I, well, that one. Might yeah. Be but I know people that can, you know. Well, I've got a resurfacer as well. No, oh, well, you probably got it all, don't you? Well, when you do what I do, and you yeah, come across you and you come across them. loose games all the time, yeah, that that might be scratched, and you might can save them. So I, I bought a disc resurfacer. And now it's, I'm it saved a bunch of games. Come up now. I know we ain't got no more of these. Okay. Because that was all. But I might come up with some more of the games. Like I said, I'm still going. To yeah, I like the older stuff mostly. I love Zelda. <laughs> Me like too. On that, um, that's such a good game too. 3DS, there's like two or three that's downloaded on it, like the good Zelda game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the original controllers for that. I didn't know that was in there. I forgot about all that. Well, it's got to have that to work. If it doesn't have that, that's why I always check. If it doesn't have that, it won't even fire yeah, up. Yeah, I try to keep all this shit away from my kids. Well, now that they're older. Yeah. And then here you said you wanted that one too. Right, right, right. Yeah. That's it's going to be replaced. Yeah, they've just been like I said. On all of those. Up. Yeah, that's going to be replaced. But they're still responsive. Yeah. Everything. I mean, it literally works. takes five minutes to unscrew the controller. And replace this stick it's not a big deal hey that's i mean you're getting a good price for oh. this. <laughs> right that's what my wife said 20 bucks i was like all right whatever you speak the words of whatever i said yeah i said okay because this was the reason i'm nervous but yeah i, I used to love playing this games right here they're fun Dude, they are fun. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all them damn PlayStation games. And... You said 150? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I still got the DS. If you change mine and you want it, ain't nobody. Yeah, I'm I'm looking for one with the box. Yeah. Because I like to collect and, you know, kind of display it on my shelf. And um, so I'm looking for one like that's got everything yeah, originally I with got it. The box. Like I said, I got it from <laughs> my. Count that and make sure that's all there. Yep. All right.
All right, so here's everything I've got left from everything that I've picked up in this video. There were two really good hauls, the DS, 3DS haul, and the N64 slash GameCube haul. That N64 came with uh, two atomic purple controllers. All of the GameCubes are going to have to have their joysticks replaced. I've already ordered some replacements off of eBay, and those should be in next week. I have yet, uh, I have tested the console, it works, but I've yet to take it apart and clean it. Um, two of the games have already sold, Super Mario 64 and Donkey Kong 64. Still got Super Smash, Zelda, Mario Party, Glover, Cruisin', Quest 64, Toy Story 2, NBA Live 2000, Mayhem, horrible cover, label, Mission Impossible, uh, ECW Hardcore Revolution, and Dark Rift. So I've got all those listed onto the next little stack here. Came across this game at the pawn shop for 10 bucks. This sells for over $35. I've got mine listed for $39.99, uh, but found that for $10 and found this for $6, and this sells regularly for around $30 to $35. So $16 into a good little flip right there. Um, the disc games that I found with this N64 lot, none of them work. I've put them through the ringer through my JFJ, could not get any of them to work. Um, so we've got a defective Wii Sports, a defective Paper Mario, Animal Crossing, Super Mario Sunshine, Mario Golf, ATV2, and the only one that did work was Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem, which is still a $15 to $20 game, disc only, but I've got all of these listed in a lot on eBay as is does not work um i also listed that i have resurfaced them and they did not work and right now the bid is up over 33 34 dollars right now so um i'm not out completely on those and then what i have left over from the ds and 3ds lot which was a fantastic probably the best DS, 3DS games I've ever come across in a lot, ever. Um, but what I've got left is Castlevania Lords of Shadow, Mirror of Fate, Virtue's Last Reward, and both of the, these are 30 plus dollar games. Um, Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate, that's about a $15 game. Hotel Dusk Room 215 Complete, that's 30 plus. Resident Evil Complete, I sold the loose copy for $65 plus ship. This one's complete. I've got it listed for, I believe, $105. Um, but I still got it. Korg DS-10 Synthesizer Plus. This is an XC title. Um, surprisingly, this goes for over $60 bucks complete. So, still have it at the moment. Golden Eye 007. And then we've got Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors, Okami Den, and Mario and Sompic at the Olympic Winter or the, at the Olympic Games. And that controller pack that I found in one of these uh, controllers here. But that's it. That is it. Hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have yet to subscribe, be sure to hit that button and the bell icon so you receive notifications every single time I upload new content. Hope you are having a fantastic day. I know I am. I'm Taddy Collector, and have a good one.